Friends, I am so excited to be here with you guys today. This is a pretty small elementary school and I love small schools because I feel like I can interact with you guys a little more and it's so, so fun. So today we're gonna have a good time. Are you guys, raise your hand if you're ready to have a good time. Okay, I'm gonna tell you lots of stories today about when I became Miss Kentucky and before I became Miss Kentucky and things that I learned even when I was some of your all's age about achieving your dreams and about setting goals for yourself. Um, I was crowned Miss Kentucky July 2nd of last year. So July 2nd, 2016. Miss Kentucky is only Miss Kentucky for one year. So every year there's a new Miss Kentucky, right? So in July of this year, only just two months left of, of me being Miss Kentucky, and then I'll crown the new girl on July 1st of 2017. So I'm kind of sad because my year is coming to an end, and I've been Miss Kentucky for 10 months already, and I only have about two months left to go. So it's a little sad, but I'm excited to move on and do something new and, and see the new Miss Kentucky get to travel all around Kentucky. But I wanna know, do you guys know who Miss Kentucky works for? Raise your hand. if. that I work for Kentucky. I do work for Kentucky, kind of, yeah, kind of. Um, in the very back in the red shirt, who do you think Miss Kentucky works for? In the red shirt? The governor? Uh, the governor? You're pretty close. In, in a roundabout way, I work for the governor. So I work for the Kentucky Department of Agriculture. Can you guys say the Kentucky Department of Agriculture? Yeah, so did you guys know, well, I wanna know, how many of you guys live on a farm? You guys live on a farm? Or maybe, you raise your hand if you've ever been on a farm in your whole life. All right, so the Kentucky Department of Agriculture kind of encompasses farming and the agriculture industry, right? And so it really supports and promotes agriculture and farming all over Kentucky. And that's a huge industry in Kentucky. There's a lot of farmers and a lot of farmland in Kentucky. Well, that's who I work for. And that's a little weird, right? That a, a pageant girl would work for the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, right? Yeah. How many of you guys think that's a little weird? Well, I thought that at first too, but I have gotten to do so many things this year, traveling all over the state, working with farmers and, and promoting farm safety. You guys didn't know it's important to stay safe, not just in your car, but on the farm as well and everywhere you go, in your house. And so I get to promote that safety. So that's just a little bit about what I get to do. The other things that I get to do, I might get to go to hospitals and visit some patients that don't get a lot of visitors. Um, I get to travel in a lot of the school systems and see elementary students and middle school students and high school students and speak to them. And so today we're gonna talk about something really important because it's almost the end of school, right? How many of you guys are excited? It's almost summer. I'm excited too. So we're gonna talk about something today that's really important, something that I learned when I was your all's age and something that maybe you guys need to be reminded of now. How many of you have a dream? You have a dream, maybe it's what you wanna be when you grow up or something that you wanna do. You have a dream. Oh, lots of dreams in this room, I love it. Well, did you guys know that the grades that you make today and this year and how well you do on your tests and how much you study, that all of those decisions that you're making today can actually help you achieve your dreams later? Did you know that? That's how important your decisions are right now and your grades are right now and how important it is to work hard right now. Because when I was your all's age, I didn't know that I was gonna be Miss Kentucky someday. In fact, that wasn't even my dream when I was your all's age because I didn't even know what a pageant was. I didn't know what Miss Kentucky was and I didn't know that that was a dream of mine, but I had a different dream. You know what my dream was? My dream was to become a really accomplished violinist. You guys know what instrument this is? A violin. I kind of just gave it away, didn't I? Well, I'm gonna quiz you guys a little bit later because it may or may not be a violin. We'll see. <laughs> but this was my dream, was to become a very, very accomplished instrumentalist. I wanted to play music and I wanted to play it well. And I knew that it would take a lot of practice, right? So how many, let's see. We don't have any eight-year-olds in this room, right? Yeah. 
We do, yes, eight year olds. Okay, so when I was eight years old, that's when I picked up this instrument for the very first time. And I picked it up because in my house, my parents told me, when you turn eight years old, we want you to pick your instrument and you're gonna take lessons for 10 years until you're 18. Once you're 18, you're an adult, right? And so you can kind of make your own decisions. And they said, if you, when you turn 18 and you're an adult, if you wanna quit, then you can quit because you're an adult. But we hope that you stick with it. So when I was eight years old, I picked up this instrument and this became my dream to become a really good instrument player or instrumentalist. And so I worked really hard, but guess what? Sometimes when we wanna learn something new, it gets difficult, right? It gets challenging. Very challenging. Very challenging. And when I was about 10 years old, I've been playing for about two years, and I decided that it was too hard, and I didn't want to practice anymore. And it, was, it, didn't really, it wasn't my dream anymore to be a violinist because I thought it was too hard, and I thought I couldn't do it, and I wanted to give up. And so I went to my mom one day, and I said, Mom, I don't want to play violin anymore. I want to give up because it's too hard and it's too difficult and I don't want to practice. My, all my friends are outside playing. I don't want to practice right now. You gotta keep, keep doing it. And that's what my mom told me. She said, Laura, you can never give up. Never give up. And, and it's so important and I'm so glad that she told me that because guess what? Part of being Miss Kentucky is having a talent. And whether your talent's singing or dancing or maybe it's playing an instrument, I didn't know that at the time. But now I look back and I think, wow, if I would have quit playing violin, maybe I wouldn't have been Miss Kentucky. I don't know. But because I didn't give up, there were so many doors that were open and I could accomplish more dreams of mine like becoming Miss Kentucky. A few years after I kept playing, I learned what Miss Kentucky was all about. I learned that it could pay for my college. I learned that this was a full-time job where I could travel all over the state and speak to children and motivate children and, and speak about what I'm passionate about. But yeah, it's so fun. And because I didn't give up 17 years ago, I get to do this now, today. And I get to be here with you guys today. So raise your hand again, those of you who said you had a dream. Raise your hand again, let me see you again. All right, I wanna hear what some of your dreams are. Will some of you share those with me? It's your dream right here. Is to be an artist. Do you like to draw and paint? That's a great dream too, become an artist. What do you think? You wanna join the army someday? Wow, what an admirable dream. Thank you for that. Yes, what's your dream? To make a wooden car? To make a wooden car? Yeah, I, hey, that's a good dream. Your dream doesn't have to be something that you wanna be when you grow up. It could be just a goal that you set for yourself. That's a good dream. What's your dream? To be a what? An army guy too? You wanna to go to the army too? All right, let's see, a couple over here. Let, um, way over here in the leopard, rainbow leopard shirt. You wanna be a YouTuber. Okay, so maybe do some vlogging or something like that. Okay, let's do one more right here. What's your dream? Uh, to, be a teacher. to be a teacher. And I bet your teachers inspire you to be a teacher, huh? Yeah, I'm sure being a teacher is super fun. With the time that I've spent in the school systems, I think being a teacher would be so awesome. Guys, these are great dreams. But what I didn't realize when I was your all's age was that not giving up in school and not giving up with my instrument or not giving up with a sport or not giving up, especially in the classroom with your tests, that is so important in helping you achieve your dreams. So you guys might have some tests this week or next week, right? Yeah, do you have some tests coming up, teachers? They have tests coming up. Oh, sometimes we don't like tests, right? Because they're hard. But guess what? Playing violin was hard. And sometimes it still is hard. But you know what the real test is? How many of you will be able to push through and persevere through a hard time, right? Because that's when you really want to achieve your dreams, when you are willing to push really hard. 
So I want all of you to say, I'm never going to give up. All right, and I want all of you to say, I'm going to study really hard. All right, and I want all of you to say, I'm going to give my best because I have a dream and I want to achieve it. All right, I know that was a mouthful. You guys are awesome, and I think that I believe in you all. And I know that whatever your dream is, you're going to achieve it if you work really hard. Now let me share one more story with you. This violin, well remember when I said I was going to quiz you? So I, raise your hand if you think this is a violin. Okay. Now raise your hand if you think it's a fiddle. Ooh. Now raise your hand if you think a violin and a fiddle is the same thing. Do you guys think it's the same thing? Maybe. Raise your hand if you think I'm asking you a trick question. <laughs> okay. No, you got, most of you are right. Pretty much all of you are right. So this is a violin, but it's also a fiddle. You know, I like to call it a fiddle because I, I've heard that there's a difference between a violin and a fiddle. I don't know if, if what I've heard is true. I've heard that uh, a fiddle is a little bit bigger than a violin. I've heard that it sounds a little bit different, like a violin is, is more of an open sound and a fiddle is more of a closed, squeaky sound. I don't know if that's true, but one thing I do know, one thing I do know is that one thing that makes fiddles and violins different is the music that you play on them, right? Yeah? So violin music might sound more like... Right? And then fiddle music might sound more like. Do you guys hear the difference? Yeah. yeah. How many of you, raise your hand if you like violin music. Now raise your hand if you like fiddle music. And raise your hand if you like both. And raise your hand if you want to hear a song. Yay, okay, perfect. Because I'm going to share a couple songs with you guys today. I hope that this inspires you guys. Because when I was young, I was probably a little older than you all, I was probably in middle school. One of the past Miss Kentuckys came to my school and she spoke and it inspired me. It not only inspired me to be Miss Kentucky, but it inspired me to work really hard in whatever I do and to set goals for myself, right? When I wanted to become Miss Kentucky, I couldn't just say, I wanna become Miss Kentucky and not do anything about it. If I wanted to become Miss Kentucky, I had to practice to become Miss Kentucky, right? And for me, that meant practicing violin. It meant practicing walking in shoes like these, right? <laughs> That's something a little silly. But I had to still practice it. It meant that I had to practice answering questions so I was really good at interviewing. It meant that I had to practice a lot of different things. So if your dream is to become a doctor or a nurse, practice taking care of people. If your dream is to become, you know, a, a newscaster on TV and report the news, then practice answering questions and practice talking to people and practice speaking in front of people. If your dream is to become a singer, what are you going to practice? Singing. Singing. If your dream is to become a veterinarian, what are you going to do? Take care of your pets. Take care of your pets, right? Absolutely. So you guys know what to do. Whatever your dream is, you have to practice it and you have to work towards it. Well, when I was 10 years old and I was practicing and working towards my dream of becoming a, an accomplished violinist, my grandmother gave me a present. How many of you guys like presents? All right. Well, I'm sorry I didn't bring any presents for you all today. Man, I should have brought one. <laughs> but my grandmother gave me a present and it was a present that's been in my family for a long time. It was a present that belonged to my great, great grandfather, which means what? It, it was really old. It, it was really old, and I never got to meet him, but this special thing belonged to him. And it was really old, and it was really special. And does anybody want to guess what it is? What do you think? The box over here? Nope, the, it wasn't this. I'll give you a hint. I'm holding it. 
the fiddle or the violin? Yes, this belonged to my great, great grandfather. So it's a little over 200 years old. It's really old, but they preserved it so well for me so that I could play it. And little did I know that years and years later, I'd get to travel Kentucky and play this for you guys all over the state. And it has been so fun. Now, I don't know if you guys know, does anyone know, maybe some of our older ones will, how many counties are in the state of Kentucky? Do you know how many counties? No, you forgot? Okay, what about this one? Do you know? Yep. 50? No, there's more than 50. Uh, let's see, right here. Yeah? You're close. There's more than 100. No, not 200. <laughs> It's 120, 120 counties in Kentucky. I've had the privilege of visiting uh, around 80 or being in around 80 um, counties. And not all of them I've had speaking engagements. Some of them I've, I've just gone through or I've eaten there or I've met people there. But I've been able to be in at least 80 counties in this state as Miss Kentucky. And every county that I've been in so far, or that I've made an appearance in, I've gotten to play one special song. And it's a song that every single person knows in the state of Kentucky. Does anybody know what our state song is? What's our state song called? Do you know? Back there, in the pink shirt? No, you right here. Right? Do you know? You don't know? The national anthem? That's, that's America's song, right? That's our country song. What a, it's just a song for our state. That was a really good guess, though. Just for our state. Over here in the pink shirt. You. No, you right here. The Kentucky song, yes. What's it called? Anybody know? Do you know? Yep. Bluegrass? Um, no, although we do have bluegrass music in Kentucky. It's called My Old Kentucky Home. Is that what you were going to say back here? Is that what you were going to say? Okay, so you guys know. Everyone say, my old Kentucky home. My old Kentucky home. Yes, and so that, that song is specifically for Kentucky. Now, there's a beautiful violin version of this song, and I want to play it for you guys. But how many of you all have heard the fiddle version of this song? You have? How have you heard the fiddle version? Have you really heard it? That's pretty cool. Maybe there's a different fiddle version, but this fiddle version that I want to play for you guys is something that I wrote myself because it was so fun. And I love my old Kentucky home, but sometimes you got to fiddle around a little bit, right? Sometimes we got to jazz it up. So I'm going to play the beautiful version that they play at the Kentucky Derby every year, which the Kentucky Derby's coming up. I'm going to play that, and then I want to play a fiddle version for you guys, okay? So everyone stay real quiet so your neighbor can hear as well, okay? Are you ready? Here we go.
you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. How many of you guys have heard that song before? You've heard My Old Kentucky Home. It's a pretty popular song. I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard it. So My Old Kentucky Home is going to play in the Kentucky Derby, right? A little bit later this year. If you didn't know that, you just learned something new. They play it at the Derby every year. Now let me tell you, my great-great-grandfather, the one whose fiddle this was, he had another favorite fiddle song, and it's called Old Joe Clark. Now, now Old Joe Clark, and you will have to, you'll recognize it. When I start to play it, you'll recognize it pretty quick probably. But how many of you all like to dance? Let me see. Oh, lots of people like to dance. Okay, so this is a really fun song. So I'm going to give you permission to kind of dance in your seat. You got to stay seated. But if you want to like dance a little jig in your seat, right, then have at it because this is fun. And let me tell you, it's hard not to dance to this song. I might be up here dancing and playing at the same time. All right. So this is called Old Joe Clark. And it was one of my great, great grandfather's favorite fiddle tunes. Are you guys ready? I need your help on this one, okay? I need a five, six, seven, eight. All right? Wait, let's try again. <laughs> Ready? remember its name that song was called old Joe Clark yes so that was it did you guys like that song that's that's one of my favorite ones so remember I want you all to remember exactly what we've talked about today okay I want you to remember and keep your dreams in mind because they are so important and you can achieve your dreams okay even even if you feel like you can't or maybe you're not good enough to achieve it don't listen to that you can do it there were times when I thought I couldn't be Miss Kentucky, but I worked really, really hard and I pushed through every test and every difficult challenge. And it happened, right? Many years later, <laughs> but it, it took a lot of hard work. And when I was your age, I even had to work for my dreams. And so whatever your dream is, you guys work really hard, okay? And I want you guys to work really hard in your testing this week and next week. You're almost done. You're in the home stretch. All right? So give me a thumbs up if you're going to work hard. Let me see them. Let me see your thumbs. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, thank you so, so much for having me today. Now, does anybody have any questions? I did say I would try to answer some questions. I won't be able to get to all of them, but I'll get to as many as I can. What's your question? How many years have I actually played the violin? I have played the violin for 17 years now. So for a long time, that's a long time, isn't it? And I still haven't gotten tired of it. All right, let's see, do you have a question? What's your question? You like my crown? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I like my crown too. It's, a, it's very sparkly and I like sparkly things. Um, okay, way back here in the plaid shirt, what's your question? How many years have I had that violin? Let's see, probably, let's see, I, I probably got it when I was 10 or 11 maybe. So probably, I don't know, probably four, 13 years. 
13, maybe a little less than that, maybe 12 years, I'm not sure. Yes, yes. Am I married? I'm not married. Nope. I'm not married, but actually when you become Miss Kentucky, that's why it's Miss Kentucky, because it's for people that aren't married, right? But then when it's Mrs. Kentucky, it's for women that are married. It's a little confusing, but no, I'm not married. Yes, way over here. Who was the last Miss Kentucky? Her name was Clark Davis, and she's the one that crowned me as Miss Kentucky. So she was an opera singer. Okay, one more question. I'm going to go way over here in the back. Yep. Is there a Mr. Kentucky? <laughs> Not that I know of. No, no Mr. Kentucky, just Miss Kentucky. <laughs> guys, thank you so, so much for having me today. You guys have been such a good audience. Can I just stay all day? Yeah. yeah. I wish. I wish I could. There's other kiddos waiting on me. But, hey, I want to say thank you to you all. You guys have been awesome and so attentive and so obedient. Um, give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm.